evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we'll be learning about how to place magnetic tracks or tracks in Dialux Evo this is a frequently asked question on my youtube channel so I thought of answering this question before we continue our series on residential lighting design for this tutorial I have considered a sample project of a dining room this is the layout I have placed some furniture here track lights or magnetic track lights their flexibility allows us to use this in residential projects commercial projects and even retail projects we'll discuss about three basic forms in which possibly the magnetic track lights can be placed so first one will be a single straight line second will be rectangle third will be a drop down that is continuation of track from ceiling to the wall okay let's start with the first step that is a straight line this is a floor plan view i have the autocad file here you can see here this is made visible and uh, this red line you see here is my track position which is in a rectangle shape now since we want to discuss three types here i'll first show you how to make a straight line track okay so for that one we'll consider only this line and i will be using flaws is files in this tutorial you can get the is files for this tracks easily from their website let's consider running magnet or tracking magnet let's consider running magnet advantage of this track lights is that it we can use different types of modules in the same track i'll be using a spot one and then i'll be using this spot and then i will be using a diffuser one which is this one light stripe okay so we'll be using three modules i have already downloaded the ies files you can you can select the ies file as per your requirement okay so because it has different voltages it also has different beam angles so make the selection and you can get the IES files like if you want the IES files click on this and here you have an option to download the IES files I have already downloaded it these are my three IES files let's go and import this IES files go to the light file import luminar file let's import the first one that is a diffuser one is for the diffuser light stripe is this one select open okay next don't do any changes here but there is some change need to be done for the height if in height you have standard 0.1 you can have to change it make it 0 0.00 three okay and then finish why i'm doing this is why i'm decreasing the height because if there is if it is much thicker it will look like one rectangular box kept but when we see the tracks that is magnetic tracks okay in the resist position the diffuser the light stripe looks in line with the track so i don't want any more thickness of this light that's the reason I reduced it to 0 0.003 okay now this is successfully imported I'll I can place it individually or I can make a line arrangement let's make a line arrangement draw line arrangement first point here second point here okay I have two fittings placed here I think this is fine two is fine okay let's go and check in dialogs it's properly placed it is on my false ceiling suppose when you're placing if it gets placed on the slab bring it down make it on the ceiling itself on the false ceiling this is fine now let's go and import our next is file file import luminar file this is my adjustable spot okay so don't make any changes here no change even in the height finish place individual luminar i'll place it in between these two that is over here 
let's go and check in dialogs it's properly placed in the ceiling okay you can adjust it if you want to adjust and you want to see the light output where it is falling you can go to the display options and click on this show leo alignment if you click on this you can see those yellow arrow marks visible it shows you where the light is directing towards now everything is towards the down okay if you want to see the light visualization you can click on this one okay so whichever light you will choose that light output will be visible now next thing if you want to rotate it what you have to do is go to this option edit joints select set illumination point then click on the point where you need this light directed say i want this light to fall on this table i can simply click at the table okay now i can see the arrow it is towards the table right this is done fine save it let's import our next is file Now this are my IS files that's the reason you can't see the exact 3D model in case you need the 3D model it's better to use ULD files go for indoor ceiling recessed medium optics in the mounting mode click on contact rail and here you can get the options of this track modules if there is any specific light brand you want to use you can type here the brand name and then it will show the related brand luminaires for now let's use let's select this one of multilus center dialux this luminaire is imported place individual luminaire we'll place it here let's check in our 3d model this is a uld file it has 3d model plus is file perfect nice but for now we'll just delete it the reason i imported this was to show you that if you need the ult files you can go to lum search and get the is files the required is file search for the brands you're looking for you can check if it is specified then you can get the ult files okay if you don't get ult files it's fine you can use even the is files i have used here you can also use ldt files okay but if you're worried about this track spot you don't want this model to be like this you want the exact 3d model then you have to make one okay don't do too much detailing on this simple object because in the rendering it's a rendering too it's not going to be too much visible simply what you can do is if you want this to be black okay go to your objects okay use the cylinder okay reduce the size reduce the height and diameter make it to the size of your spotlight and then place it here and rotate it same way we did for the ies but uh, i don't think it's required because it's not too much visible in the renders now we have placed our luminaires but we need to make a track so how we are going to do it it's very simple all you need to do is go to your objects select cube or you can use even the extrusion volume okay let's use cube itself for now and place object place it at the where you need the track reduce its thickness use it use scale tool to do it you can even extend it using the same scale tool okay now it is at the height of my track go to the properties okay in the size make it 0 0.002 enter okay select this object go to the side view select move tool and bring it to the 
and bring it above to the level of the ceiling this is your ceiling bring it more above okay it's placed exactly on the ceiling okay perfect now track is placed i want my track to be black you can go to the texture create color material make it black replace material and that's done that was simple okay now you can follow the same way to make any shape of track now let's discuss about our second type of track i told that is a rectangle one for now i will just move this track towards here okay now for the rectangle track go back to the objects again select cube place individual object okay now first thing okay the first cube you selected place it at the outer line of your track okay this is my track position in the autocad file so my first cube i'll place it at the outer boundary okay scale it done select it and reduce its height to say 0.5 meters enter now copy the same cube control c control v okay go to the scale option okay your second cube is selected now and your second cube should be where your second line of the track is okay my line is here so i have to scale it like this here and this one here this one here done okay and this height make it 1 meter itself enter now go to your 3d model this is how it will be placed okay now bring your first cube little above so that you can perform any boolean operation hold the shift key and select the other cube as well go to the operations copy and arrange and here click on separate so whatever will be visible in pink color that is what the difference you are going to get so i want only the outer part of the cube i want it to be hollow inside that's the reason your inner part of the cube should be in blue okay then separate you see now it's hollow perfect rectangle click on this go to the properties and reduce the size to 0.001 enter use the move tool go to the elevations okay and drag it up to the ceiling level properly place at the height of the ceiling give it a texture replace material now you have perfect rectangular track now let's see our third form that is continuation from ceiling to the wall okay for that one i will select the first track i used i'll move it to the wall okay i will reduce its size because i don't want to disturb the rectangular part of my track i've reduced the size now this is a track here select it now you want to continue the same track on the wall so select control c control v okay go to the elevations this is your track use the rotate tool and rotate it bring it from the ceiling level to the wall okay now it is placed on the wall go check it in your 3d yes now it's properly placed it's looking like continuation from ceiling to the wall you can even increase its size you can go and do it manually over here size suppose you want it to be 2 click on 2 now size is increased and you can place it properly what you have to do is select both the extrusion volumes both the cubes go to copy and arrange and combine both okay now this track is one let me add some is file on the wall for this same track let's um, add the light stripe 
I will select the IES okay you can place it on the top and then rotate it okay like for example place it here rotate go to the elevations part your IES is here I want to rotate it select rotate place it on the wall go back to the 3d view so this is how it is placed on the wall you can adjust its position by using the same move tool okay similarly you can pay, place any other modules too let me show you how to place another module which is this the track spot This looks perfect. I'll also place some lights over here. We have finished placing all the luminous. I think this is perfect. Let's make it 6000 here in the manual scale. Okay. Brightness is also fine. Okay. Save new view ray tracer increase the resolution and start ray tracing calculation render is completed i can see the render perfect nice the track looks more realistic see i said you the spot after render it is not going to you know more visible the body of this spotlight but still if you are very concerned about it then use a uld file or use an cylindrical object and cover it up with black cylindrical body for the spot okay that's nice let's make another render for this for this track here let's set the view save new view i will decrease the resolution because i want a real quick render i'll make it only hd and start rest tracing render is completed and even this L-shaped track which is continuing from the ceiling to the wall also looks perfect nice okay so this is how you make a track or recessed one in dialogues evo this is recessed track now how you will make a surface track very simple okay all you need to do is just increase the thickness of this track okay how we are going to do this go to the construction select this object and increase the size okay now it's 0 0.001 increase it to say 0 0.05 okay check your data sheet the specification check the dimension and change the size of this track accordingly okay now go to your side view bring this to the ceiling level and here will be your surface track bring those all luminaires at the level of this light This is how you can make a surface track very simple all you need to do is use extrusion volumes use cubes and make it in the same shape you are you have used in the AutoCAD very simple hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you